Hey kids, Giant Food Stamp here, and welcome to my banjo ukulele tutorial. This tutorial in particular is going to teach six strums that you can use on the banjo ukulele, and then we're going to put it all together to play a popular banjo uke song, the 12th Street Brag. So here is the first strum. The boogie. So this is really just playing normally, just down, up, down, up, down strokes. You want to hold your, you want your, first of all, you want your elbow locked. You want this in here. Nothing moves past your wrist. So, but nice and loose, but like a snap in the hand. So. The scrape. Now, it looks very fancy, it looks very nice, but it's all salesmanship. You want your three fingers here. Pinky, pointer, thumb. Just the three. Your other two are just a flourish to make it look nice. The triplet. This is probably my favorite strum. Very uh, indiscriminate little strum, but when done well, it, uh, it, it's very versatile and can be used in lots of different types of songs. So basically, this is going to be a down with the pointer, down with the thumb, and then bring them back together on the up, followed by a downbeat. So. Doodly doo. Anytime you're watching a video and you see the thumb come up like that, that's going to be a triplet. Let's put that in with what we've learned so far. The split stroke, also known as the syncopated stroke, this is the strum that George Formby is best known for, and he would do it almost exclusively throughout his whole solos, while Roy Smick or other artists would sprinkle it in here or there, but it's a great strum nonetheless to have. So it is down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. But it also receives a little extra mojo when you put an extra downbeat before it. Context of the 12th Street Rag, we're going to be on open one, open one. You want to do a lot of tapping notes and split stroking to bring out that melody on the, and the tapping note on, in this particular chord is going to be on the bottom string on the one. G7.
the shuffle. Now this is probably not one of the uh, more commonly used strums, but it's definitely a good one to have in the bag. And it is a scrape <coughs> followed by two downbeats. It's very good for breakdowns, little rundowns in songs. In the context of the 12th Street Rag, it's used for a little um, turnaround that starts on C to 5th fret to the C7 back to C F push pinky down so practice that The breeze. Well, it comes in a few different variations, also known as the cool breeze, the strong breeze, the warm breeze. But it's really just what you're feeling at the time. But it's basically a scrape followed by a series of down up down beats. And when you want to, when you do those down up down beats, you want to be loose, loosey goosey here, and almost have your index finger, you know, a little bit up further than you would so that you can get a little fast in there and once again you're not moving anything over here just wrist wrist this way this is very loose but poppy this way don't even move it and you're going to let's pick out the C diminished chord for this one the breeze. Okay, putting it all together, where to begin? Well, you have your intro to the song, which is, you start on your G7, and you're just going to move your middle finger down, bob back and forth between the C and the G string. You're going to scrape, and just with normal downbeats, this is all downbeats with a little scrape. Split stroke, in, and that's on our weird little G chord here, zero one zero one. Tapping G seven. So that's the intro. The first turnaround fits in right after the G seven chord whilst boogieing. So. C7, C sharp 7, D7, and then G, some type of C minor, but that's 0, 3, 5, 3, and it's, this is just a chromatic walk of 0, 3, 5, 3, 0, 4, 6, 4, 0, 5, 7, 5. So from G, and all together that sounds like... So after your first turnaround, and after you've gone through the chords again, now you're on, after that C, is time for your second turnaround. That's where the shuffle plus breeze comes in. Let's do that again. So that's your second turnaround.
bar to bring you back into your intro and just repeat the whole thing all over again is going to be... Now let's sing all together. So I suggest starting very slow and working your way faster and faster and faster. But concentrate on the slow because that's how you're going to get it. Um, a lot of these, you need to hear it. You need to practice getting it every little beat to, to count. You don't want it to get sloppy. You don't want to, to be lazy. You want to be on top of the mountain. So... I hope all that helps, and there will be a tutorial part two with another six strums to complete the 12 strums of the 12th Street Rag, and that will pick up on the second and third uh, verses, and we'll learn the, the gallop, the skiffle, the penguin, lots of fun uh, strums coming up, so stay tuned for that um, in the future. Thank you.